Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. This week, we're gonna be talking about Counting Kingdom because Counting Kingdom is badass. Sure, it's a game about basic arithmetic for four to six year olds, but you should still play it. You wanna know why? Well, if you're a fan of games like Math Blaster or Dragon Box, or more accurately, you like people knowing stuff in a way they don't hate, you want more people to like learning math, this is a really good example. So, uh, what's awesome about Counting Kingdom? Why am, why am I talking about a children's math game on this show? Because especially for anybody who's a designer out there, Counting Kingdom does something really clever. And that's get the player to voluntarily do harder math problems. The basic gameplay is pretty simple, right? You're a wizard, you get some numbers in your spell book, you can put those numbers together to destroy monsters. All the monsters have numbers on them. You can sort of collect, connect contiguous monsters to add up to a larger number and blast them all in a bunch, right? But what's really good about this sort of mechanic is the player wants to make these bigger and bigger chains, right? They want to uh, do the coolest large explosion they can. They want to get the most points, all that sort of thing. And so this game actually, rather than how we usually approach math, Many of us have looked at the math problems in a math book or on a piece of homework before and decide when we saw the more difficult problems. In this case, the child is voluntarily choosing to make the math problems harder for themselves because solving harder math problems is cooler, right? You've seen this done in traditional games all the time, right? We find all these ways to reward you or to make it more interesting to play through in the most challenging way possible, right? Or do the uh, most elaborate tricks with the skills we've taught you. And that's exactly what Counting King does for math, which is awesome, right? Too few of our educational games today do this. Too few of our educational games think about anything more than how we traditionally teach these subjects, right? They don't use the language of game to make these things more engaging, and they don't start working into our psyche, into our desire, this uh, urge to do more with the things they're teaching us than the absolute minimum, right? And that's what Counting Kingdom does really well. If you don't perhaps like basic arithmetic games for four to six year olds, this may not be as much your bag. But anybody who's a designer, anybody who's curious about uh, educational games, I highly recommend you check it out. You probably won't stick with it for too long. I'll totally grant that because in half an hour, you can sort of see what it's doing. It's tricks or something that most of us have sort of learned already in the traditional game space. But it's really interesting watching them applied to a educational product. So this week, James is going to use the forum you've all given him and recommend a child's math game because anyone who's trying to make math something that everybody would love to do, I think is doing something good. And so yeah, this week, James recommends Counting Kingdom. See y'all next week.